Hi friends, welcome to OFA Studies YouTube channel. This is part 25 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about group by function in PySpark. We all know SQL, right? In SQL, we have something called group by class that will help you to group the rows with a similar value and then perform some kind of aggregation function on top of it. So, if you don't know, try to search group by in SQL in online or in YouTube, you will see so much of content. So, similar to that group by, even the PySpark group by will behave exactly same. It will collect the identical data into groups from the data frame and on top of it, it will perform aggregations like count, sum, average, minimum, maximum and all. When I practically explain you this with a small example, then you will make more sense of it. Let me go to browser where I have already opened my Databricks workspace. So this is my Databricks workspace and here let me go to my workspace and let me try to create a new notebook here by right clicking here. So I want to name this notebook as group by notebook. Okay and default language is python and this is a cluster with which i want to attach this so let me hit create button to create this notebook now for the interest of the time i have already created copied some code here that will actually create a data frame so if you don't know what is data frame if you don't know how to create a data frame with some hard coded values using create data fed function Please watch my previous videos in the PySpark playlist where I have explained that very clearly. If you see here, it is a data variable which holds a list. In the list, I have tuples as item. Every tuple item will represent one row in data frame actually. And for this entire data frame, I am defining a schema here using list again. So this represents ID column, name column, gender column, salary and department. So now let me use df.show function to represent this entire data in a data frame by creating a data frame here. So let me hit shift enter to execute this code and when you see the data frame output here, you will actually make sense. So if you see it here, it has id, name, gender, salary, department columns and it has around 7 rows of data and every row has a salary department to it and also a gender to it. So every row actually think like represents one employee record. So now so far it is good. Now let's assume you want to group by all this data based on the department to see for each department what is the count of employees. So in such situations you can use this group by function. Let me practically show you this. So df dot on top of df when I say control space you will see there is something called group by function from the intelligence. To this group by function, you need to supply a column on which you have to perform the group by. So on department column, I want to perform the group by. So you can point to column using this kind of syntax by passing column name as a string or you can also use this kind of string uh, syntax that will also represent the column. So these things I have already explained in my previous videos. So I am grouping by department. When you perform the group by by department, it will return grouped data object actually. So let me do one thing. So let me get type of the object what it generates. And let's try to print that type. To see what type of object it will create and give you back. So let me hit shift enter now. And let's wait for the command to execute. You can see it returned a object which is grouped data type. Okay. So it, it creates a grouped data object, right? Now on top of this object, you have several functions actually that will perform the aggregations. So let me show you this. So I am grouping by data with the help of department column. Now I kept a dot there. And when I say control space, you see there is a aggregate function. There is a count function, maximum function, mean function, minimum function lot more right some function as well 
we will discuss about this aggregate function in our next video so for now i am interested about this count function that will actually give me count of the records by grouping data with department so this entire code will actually create a data frame so let's try to store the data frame in a variable called df1 and now df1.show will print the results in a tabular format so let's wait for command to run here now if you see i can see i have it department which has three employees payroll department which has two employees hr department which has two employees again so like this you can perform group by not only this what i can get maybe i can get minimum of salary for each department so minimum of i am using a salary column and now let me hit shift enter to run this for each department what is the minimum salary i will get it not only that i can get maximum salary also why because it has a max sal max function also right so like this not only this you can group by data using multiple columns so here i am grouping by only department let's assume i want to group by department and gender so that for each department for each gender how many employees we have so for that what i will be doing it here is let's pass the gender column and department column both and then let's try to calculate the count let me hit shift enter to execute this command and now if you see the result it says it department male we have two employees and it department female we have one employee similarly payroll for male payroll for sorry female and male hr for male and hr for female so like this you can group by based on multiple columns as well so i hope you got an idea like how to group by it is very straightforward and easy you may be wondering is it possible to apply all these function aggregations at the same time that means minimum minimum of salary maximum of salary count everything i want to show it in a single table as a multiple columns that means apply all the aggregations at the same time will that possible yes it is possible using aggregate function but that i will explain in our next video when i am explaining the aggregate function i hope you got an idea thank you for watching this video uh, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much